Sam Bankman Freed, or as I like to call him, Sam Bankrupt Fraud, was recently convicted of one of the largest Ponzi schemes in U.S. history with the collapse of his crypto trading firm FTX. Now, in this situation, most people would, you know, cop a plea, get a reduced sentence in exchange for admitting guilt and show some remorse and, you know, that kind of thing. But not Sam. He chose to roll the dice and go to a jury trial. In the trial, he was immediately convicted on all charges in a three-week trial that resulted in the jury convicting him on all charges in less than four hours. Tonight, FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried, once celebrated as the golden boy of cryptocurrency, found guilty in his criminal fraud trial by a federal jury in Manhattan. At trial, prosecutors argued Bankman Freed knowingly used at least $10 billion of customer funds without permission to cover losses for his other company, Alameda Research, and to fund his lavish lifestyle. And now that he faces a maximum sentence of 100 years or more, when he goes before the judge for sentencing next month, he's doing something that only a wealthy, entitled, deranged psychopath would do. He's trying to spin his way out of the whole mess in his final and most daring con job of all. As the New York Times recently reported, Bankman Fried has hired, quote, a new lawyer known for courtroom showmanship and another high flying attorney to work on this long shot circus sideshow. He also has his law professor parents, the Bay Area power couple known as. Barb and Joe on the Stanford campus working on his legal issues and arranging a sympathy campaign to show why everyone is wrong about their poor little boy. All of this is a long shot strategy orchestrated by Bankman Freed's family and friends to reverse his conviction and engineer a public reappraisal of his leadership at FTX. The Times has not acknowledged that it is a vehicle for this strategy, as evidenced by Bankman Freed's team waiting for its sympathetic article to drop before filing a trove of letters and arguments in court to amplify their position. Nor does this article raise the awkward question of how the Bankman Freed clan is paying for gold plated lawyers and a PR firm whose monthly retainer could go as high as $50,000. The likely answer is that Bankman Freed's parents are footing the bills with the help of $10 million they pressed him for to pay for his father's legal work, money that came out of the treasury of the crypto companies that collapsed under the mountain of fraud. This is bad enough, but it's even more obnoxious when you read things like this. His lawyer said Bankman Freed wasn't motivated by greed, but by a desire to better the world through philanthropic giving. Material items and extravagance did nothing for him, they say. Give me a break. Recall this guy lived in a luxury villa and liked to jet around the world rubbing shoulders at lavish events with the likes of Tom Brady or Katy Perry. Nothing material or extravagant about that. And let's not forget about Bankman Freed's parents being sued by the FTX estate, not only for the return of the $10 million in the case of his father, but for a $16.4 million mansion in the Bahamas that is in his parents' name. All of this makes the parents' current attempt to engineer a public reappraisal of their son so galling. They remind us at every turn that Sam should not be punished for robbing his customers because he's on the spectrum or because he's been the victim of cruel medium caricatures. Oh, they probably hurt his feelings. <laughs> What they don't say is that Sam is a 31-year-old man who grew up with every privilege in the world and has shown every indication of being a liar and a complete sociopath. Is there no end to this endless line of bullshit out of this guy and his pathetic parents? 
If the judge has one ounce of integrity, he will throw the book at this guy and lock him up for many, many years and cause him to become the girlfriend of someone named Jerome. And if this happens, maybe his parents will stop telling Sam how special he is. One can only hope. 